Welcome back, my name is Pat Rapiku. The game is Final Fantasy 16. Last time we, well, we defeated Kupka. I'm pretty sure he'll be back sooner or later, but uh, he lost his hands. So, also, Torgal became a blue fire wolf somehow. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. All right, a prayer for safe travels. They say it is your men who keep the roads free of beasts and bandits. As one who's likely to reliant on safe passage from market to market, my chuckle and I thank you. A concerned Caravaneer. Lyrics Medallion. You earned this. Wonder what that There's does. There, Sid. Uh do, do, do cleric. There you are. So the base cleric's medallion increases potency of potions by 20%. There's, oh, there it is. And plus one by 40%. Uh, I, considering I ju just got the healing potency upgrade from the side quest, I'm not really too concerned about such. All right, so there's a new A rank on the loose. Old Hill Rosaria. Rumor we're spreading throughout the southern reaches of Rosaria of a pool of opalescent ooze that has been sighted in the moors and meadows of the region. While it resembles not but a puddle of strange sludge from a distance, any man or beast that draws too close is met with a mass of slimy hands that drag their prey into a gaping and grinning maw. Is this what we want for our children? Okay, Odd Hill Rosaria. Odd Hill Rosaria. There's the Odd Hill Docks. So it should be somewhere around here then? Question mark? Uh, this is a lot of land for quote unquote on hill. Maybe out this way. Right, this is the, uh, the thing I need for my other gear piece. Does this still count as Odd Hill? Actually, maybe I should look it up. I should probably look it up instead of wandering around. Uh, final Fantasy. Ding. Muddy Murderer. Actually, I'm almost right on top of it. Fancy that. Should be somewhere around about here. Um, 
Oh, cool, free potion. It says it's like right here. Oh, there you are. Flan Prince Rank A. Tornado. Ow. Ow, pain. Rain, rain, this is not Monster Hunter. Stonga. <laughs> Ow. And now the Blizzard guy. slow. Dual cast. Now the Thundagas, huh? I keep forgetting that I don't have the uh, the wing twirl on.
Ow, brain. Okay, okay, Brain, are we are we back in Final Fantasy mode? Five thousand two hundred XP. Okay then, thirty one level thirty one. Uh, two thousand ninety three HP, three hundred nine attack, two hundred twenty one defense, two hundred ninety seven stagger, seventy seven strength, eighty three fit, seventy seven will. And there's the gelatinous mass. The wild fan excretes a sickly sweet viscous ooze that is meant to lure would-be predators into devouring it, in which times the powerful toxins within its flesh will paralyze the victim, allowing the flan to envelop and slowly dissolve it over a period of 17 nights, up to seven of which the victim spends alive. Pain by the view of the flan prince. But it's dead now. Yeesh. And what can I do for you? I need potions because I just blew through my entire supply. I thank you very much. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. 5,000 XP. Oof. I got the slight feeling I wasn't supposed to actually fight that yet. So would it be? Now I need another Scarlet type. That's not until later in the MSQ. Uh, and I don't think I have any other side quests to deal with, so on with the story. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Not all of the nobles made it out of them. Butter. Is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While 
we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. Still, <laughs> <laughs> was it? Uh, who is this? Who is this blonde alien? Shouldn't you be getting some rest? You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop, like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And. I've been thinking about it for a while. Mededel Telemon. Student of the engineering, a student of engineering at the University of Canberra, she is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins. And means to put that knowledge to use in service of the highway. Well that doesn't tell me too much. How do you say her name? Medaladol? Mediadol? Mm -hmm. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. Oh, I. Oh, this is Sid's kid. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs. Oh dear. For me. Who else? What do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? <laughs> for now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where's it start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Who raised this child? <laughs> She's a uh, hmm. Sid's daughter is in, certainly a uh, not a shy one. <laughs> the little ones have been up to their old tricks again. All right, let's get the. And I suppose I'll be the one to pay for all this, won't I? Hmm. from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. A noxious vapor that's built from the cracks around a certain door in Sidolphus Telebon's dead plan hideaway would sting the eyes and burn the nose of anyone who strayed too close. Reminding every ingredient on this list would no doubt produce similar results. Yeah. <laughs> Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Would be much of a traitor if I couldn't. 
Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Med when it comes in. Thank you, Aaron. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. The player kit. Sketches of ineffable devices seemingly drawn from, from the pages of a mad alchemist notebook. And a list of the equally exotic alloys from which such things are smithed. Sounds like she's carrying her weight, or more than. So a little uh, bushiness is excused. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. Uh, I see. Don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he's a friend of the court. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. Well, sounds like I'm heading off to Martha's Rest. I've just been having too much fun with Monster Hunter. I have to switch back into 14, uh, 16 brain. Which has always been my biggest problem with console gaming for some reason. Whenever I switch games on console, I always... It takes me a while to switch between gears. I never have that problem when I'm playing PC. Don't know why. It's weird. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. We don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. The place is a ruin. As far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. So it doesn't look like there's a fast travel point closer to that spot. Which way am I leaving from? North. At least I have my chocobo. Good girl. No way, here we go. 
Why does it always swap me to Ramu as my four as my uh, front icon? Is there any way to change that? Nearby? There, how about that? Where? Where's the chronolith? Oh, these things. Still not activatable, huh? Come on. What is our fine carpenter friend doing out this away? Oh, if it ain't the lad who saved my life, what brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Shop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats stacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. Rightio. Hopefully a couple of bad nicks ain't too bad to deal with. This shouldn't take long. Everything must burn! say
That was rather sad, sir. Oh, you, you turned around, huh? I think I have a fair few gill bugs saved up actually. I should probably look into some of those. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of. What's this? Huh? I don't understand. Why is Ramu always in the Actually, let me try something. I think that fixed it. Can finally get the next sword upgrade. It's only five stronger, but still, an upgrade is an upgrade. Not bad. If I do say so myself. And actually, can you upgrade my? Uh... No. Okay. Right, that's over in the uh, thingy.
Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? All right, mid, we've got everything squared away. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. Three hundred XP, thirty-five down. Brother of the Earth. If this is one up, cool down by three seconds. I'm not using a uh, Titan, so. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. I see a side quest. What are we doing for time? We're a little over the thirty-five minute mark. Still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. That is quite interesting. I'll go look into that. And then, and the episode, next episode, we'll be doing these side quests. As is my usual want. I can pick up the side quest on the way. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. The curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that they know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this what they escaped and what we're freeing people from but I never really thought how my words might affect them what risks they might take because of the things I've said I'll go and find them we'll both rest easier knowing they're safe thank you Sid and I'm sorry to trouble you with this the plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the dragon's airy I can't tell you much more than that that should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgo will track them down. And speaking of Torgo. been wanting to ask you something about Togo. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Togo may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the frost wolf? The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, 
a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Togel his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. I shall be a moment. Well, it's good. Torgo will be fine. That will have to wait till the next episode, or the episode after that, because I have side quests to be right. Uh, if you heard any uh, growling, grunting, that's my own fine hound on my bed, losing his mind for some reason. I will. Uh... <laughs> Don't fall off now, you crazy mutt. Anyway, uh, next episode we'll be doing the side quest, like I said. Until then. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you're so kind, get off my lawn, you filthy casuals.